Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be here today. I hope you're all doing really, really well. It's nearly the end of the year. I can't believe how time, you know, fast time goes. Um, we're going to be seeing the Divine Weekly Guidance. What do we need to know today, please, Spirit? There are new messages that come out every week. I never know what's going to come up. This is a general reading as well for a lot of people. It's not focused on anything in particular like love, career, health. Whatever will come up will come up for whoever needs to hear it today. There might be more than one message, obviously, in these readings that I do that um, you can take, you know, just take what resonates, as they say. So let's have a look. What do we need to know this week, please, Spirit? Thank you, angels. Well, there it is. Ooh, awareness. This is a beautiful card. This is the magician. So it's all about coming into awareness, being aware of our surroundings, being aware of our magical power that we have within us, the magic that we are. And it's so interesting that on his crown chakra here, we see this little flame um, burning brightly. So... This is the crown chakra, which is all about spiritual awareness. We can download information um, in our sleep, in our waking states as well. That's what, all, that's what awareness is all about, in our waking state, being aware of everything, being aware of the lessons that are coming into our lives. Um, some of you might have a beard. You might have a masculine who has a beard like this as well. There could be a message in this for you. Um, but it's definitely showing that you have the power to manifest what it is that you need in your life, what you desire. Um, if it's coming from a good intention, you know, you, it's about knowing how to work with the universe as a co-creator. Um, and yeah, it's sometimes we have to be in the right vibration to do so. Um, and when we become aware of... The bigger picture rather than just our tiny little lives <laughs> I mean it's not so tiny I mean everything is obviously significant and special that happens in our lives there are many challenges that teach us a lot about ourselves and about others and just the human condition um, but I think when we're able to rise above those things okay the, the trials and the challenges and really pay attention to why they've come in we can sort of, yeah, rise above, see the higher perspective as to why things happen. I think there's a saying that says instead of saying, why is this happening to me, we can look at things at what is this teaching me? So we're becoming aware of the lesson. We're becoming aware of our role in this as well and what other people's role is, you know, that come in as well as challenges in our life. And I say challengers, as in with an ERS at the end, not just challenges, but challengers. They come in and challenge us. They challenge us to be better than we were yesterday. And uh, sometimes it's not pl a pleasant feeling. Sometimes it, um, but it really does push us to grow and evolve and develop, you know, and um, awareness is the key to evolving spiritually. Uh, because if we don't get it, if we can't see what keeps repeating in our lives and keeps coming at us, it's just going to keep repeating until we get the lesson, until we get it and open our eyes and say, aha, now I get it. I know what that happened for. And now that I have that knowledge, I can now use discernment in future, you know, and also be a teacher for others and help others to show that empathy and compassion towards others around me who are, are going, who are undergoing the same thing. So you can be a teacher in this. You can learn and then you can teach from what you've learned, from human experience, you know, your spiritual experience here. Because we are all spiritual beings having a human experience. So that's what it's all about. And... Um, you got to tap into the magic of your daily life as, as well, the magic of who you are, the magic of the universe. It's so much vaster than we can imagine um, because sometimes we do get caught up in our, as I said before, our tiny, <laughs> sometimes mundane lives, you know, the daily stuff that we just, the daily grind, the things that we have to just, we have to do and it's, it's uh, you know, we, we are... It's like micro focused on this. Like we're so focused on the things that um, 
are happening in our own lives, our own story, and there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we become so um, caught up in it that we miss other things that is going on around us and the bigger picture. And we miss opportunities to come in as well and, and where we can share and grow and evolve. And I keep saying that stuff, but it's so true. Like we can expand ourselves into the universe, into life, into society and learn more and more opportunities open up for us if we're able to have that connection as well with others. So pay attention this week as to what it is that you might be dwelling on, stressing out with, focusing on... Um, Oh, hello, my darling. My little cat's come in. Focus, yeah, just pay attention to what you're focusing or stressing out over, okay? And just try and uh, maybe see something from a different perspective, a higher, bigger angle, like a higher perspective, the bigger picture here. <laughs> my cat's carrying on. He wants to go out. Go on, out you get. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I just find it interesting because... Sometimes we miss the signs too. The universe brings it in. They might bring in a person that can help us or that is needed in our lives right then and there. And we might shut it down, not realizing that it's an actual opportunity for something really beautiful. Um, you know, we can either help them or they can help us. We just have to be aware of our surroundings, aware of the people coming in and um, can what discern what is an opportunity and what is a lesson. Sometimes people can see challenges um, you know, it kind of challenges them and they love it. <laughs> they want to, they want to, um, confront it, you know, head on and, um, not run away. Otherwise it just keeps coming, you know. So let's have a look. What else do we need to know this week, please, spirit? Thank you, angels. So the base chakra as well. This is interesting because this is the groundedness. This is the, the earth. <laughs> okay. This is the, the base chakra, which is, sits at the base of our spine. And so it's all about our material items, it's our sense of belonging, it's our family, it's our career, it's that stability and security. Um, so it's very interesting, we've both got ones here, okay, two ones. So you might be seeing ones or elevens. You know, it could be an eleven or ones that you're seeing a lot of at the moment. But it's kind of like a, like a balance between, okay, being grounded in the logical and being aware and... Um, being spiritual so it's a balance between spirituality and practicality as well so making sure that all of your needs are met in the earth realm as well we need to focus on that we need to focus on our family where we belong where we're meant to be where are you meant to be right now where are you where are you being called to be some of you might be called to you know oh gosh it's not sitting there called to work with other people um you might have to go overseas. You might be having to focus on family needs right now. Uh, you might have to ground yourself and become aware of your surroundings. They say when people are anxious, oh, I know i got anxiety. Who doesn't in this day and age? <laughs> but, you know, when you have anxiety, it's just a really good thing to just become aware of your surroundings and ground yourself and just really pay attention to what you're hearing, what you might be seeing around you. Just They kind of say, you know, pick out five things that you can see um, pick out four things that you can hear at this moment and so when you're really tuning in like that you really do become very present in your in your space okay and you're aware of everything around you and it brings you back down to earth and especially if those uh, people who disassociate in situations just being aware of your surroundings being aware of how you're feeling in your body being aware of your breath just really taking it all in and being in the present moment is important as well And movement, choices, decisions, the two of pentacles. So there's choices coming up for some of us this week. And being aware of what is, you know, being aware of our gut feelings as well. Being aware of, um, like, not jumping into anything impulsively, really weighing things up, weighing up our options here. And once again, it's all about balancing. Balancing work, play, you know, rest, things like that. Um, so this week we just need to really pay attention to what is the best for ourselves, what is the best for our families right now, um, yeah, and yourself as well. Don't burn yourself out. Don't overdo things. So something can happen. There can be a lot of movement forward. 
But I feel like a lot of us are going to actually just want to think things through, process things this week. Just sit with it, is what I'm hearing. Just sit with it um, before making a big decision. So all is not less, all is not lost, my God, I can't talk. All is not lost. See how she's kind of sitting there feeling really down? Uh, Spirit is saying all is not lost. What might appear to be a loss is actually something you can gain from this. There's a lesson in this. There's something much higher happening behind the scenes, okay? There's something much more significant happening behind the scenes that we can't yet see. See, in the tarot, the twos are near the beginning. One and two, okay, is the beginning. It goes all the way up to number 10, and then it goes into the, the court cards, okay? So the page, the knights, the queens, and kings. So when we're looking at the cycle, okay, the numerology cycle, in the tarot, it goes up to the nine and the 10. So when we're seeing this, it's just a beginning. All is not lost. What might not seem like things are moving or developing is actually happening. And serenity in nature, so take some time out in nature just to sit with it, okay? As we said before, just be aware of your surroundings, feel the, the, the ground underneath your feet, uh, listen to the water moving if you're around waterfalls or a beach or whatever it might be, and just pay attention to the beauty of nature as well. Sometimes when we're stressed or you know we just need to get out we need to get outdoors get out sometimes when people have a fight they just need to go for a walk and, and cool and calm down um so it's just kind of like that thing well nature's very uh, peaceful it's very serene it's very healing and calming for some people who might be feeling that they are a bit um fragmented at the moment and a little lost with something don't know what to do don't know what's going on um don't know what decision to make with something Maybe you're in a bit of a limbo this week with something and you just might feel pressured to make a decision, but you don't actually have to. Sagittarius is coming in the energy of being optimistic, philosophical, adventurous. So Sagis are all about the learning. It's all about education. It can be travel and being adventurous with something. See something as an opportunity to grow and expand rather than something that's that's restricting you as such, okay? Try and maybe try and change our focus. It's a narrative shift. Um, being able to look at something and say, this is not feeling very good. It's a stressful situation, but it's going to be okay. All is not lost. Things are still unfolding. I haven't yet seen what's going on fully. And when I do, you know, it may not be pleasant, but it's meant to be uh, for my higher learning, for my higher growth. And sometimes it's just a beautiful thing. I mean, it's not even saying it's a bad reading. It's just saying for those of you who are undergoing significant change, and I know I've gone through some significant um, things recently that have been absolutely heartbreaking, uh, but I'm learning to rise above it. And um, I can't change the outcome. Whatever will be, will be. And it's an acceptance that comes in with this. And once you do that, sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, once you do that, then um, other things can come in and shift and fall into place. So when things seem to be falling apart, it's allowing for other things to fall into place, which I think is a really beautiful way to look at things as well. Beauty and attraction. So look at all the beautiful things that are happening for you in your life. Look at the beauty around you in terms of nature, um, just beautiful relationships that you might have, you know, just look at the beautiful things that are strong in your life, things that are going right for you and you'll attract more of that as well. It can be very hard to do that if we're in a situation that we're, you know, if, especially if you're right smack bang in the middle of something that is really heartbreaking or stressful. It's very hard to just remove yourself and just switch gears, you know, in terms of switching your mood okay but it can be done when you go out and just gently you know be gentle with yourself go out and surround yourself with friends um maybe just have a cuppa with somebody have a talk get out in nature maybe just spend some time alone if that's what you want to just reflect and and just go easy on yourself you know as well and someone you love is thinking of you right now so if there's somebody that you're feeling a loss with if there's somebody that um, you've just started a relationship with, they're thinking of you right now. 
So as you're watching this video, they are actually thinking of you. They might actually literally be lying on a couch, looking up out a window at the stars and the moon, um, and just thinking about you. They could be on, like on a, you know, in another part of the world altogether. They might be overseas from you or at a long distance, but energy travels. Okay. We're all connected and, um, that's what it is. We're all connected. So they're going to be feeling your energy as well. And that's possibly also why they're thinking strongly of you. This could be somebody in the spirit world as well, surrounding you, thinking of you being by your side. Uh, giving you signs that they're there comforting you and protecting you. Okay, so yes, look at that. Very interesting. Call upon your spirit guide. So for some of you, it could be a deceased loved one, a deceased family member. It could be a pet. It could be a dog. You know, it could be, could be anything. Somebody in the spirit world, or even your spirit guides, ancestors, you name it, are coming in to support you around whatever's challenging or painful at this time. It's a very good message for me too <laughs> and it will all be okay look at that with the baby so there could be some issues around children grandchildren health uh, for some people here relationships whatever it is that you're dealing with that could be something you're coming up against it's going to be okay it's going to be okay for the highest good of all and that's what we need to say as an affirmation too like you know I um, now everything is going well. I have harmonious relationships with everybody. All of my relationships are harmonious. My loved ones are taken care of. They're healthy. They're well looked after. They're protected. Um, whatever, whatever it is you need right now, communication with somebody, everything's going to be okay. The rainbow is the promise, okay? You might be seeing rainbows as well as a sign that everything will be okay. Look at this. Everything's going to be okay in your partnerships, in your relationships. There's going to be fairness and balance brought in. There might even be justice brought in if it's a legal issue. Uh, yes, so Libra, Sagittarius could be star signs you're dealing with. You might be one. It could be Gemini, Virgo as well with the magician. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also with the base chakra, I see with that. So we've got partnerships, fairness, balance right there. Interesting. So let's get another card here. What can we learn, please, Spirit? So in t oh, what's it say? initiation attunement. So some of you might need to go get a Reiki healing. You're not, you know, even just calling in your spirit guides to uh, initiate this beautiful energy just flowing through once again the crown chakra so spirit can come in and really just attune you align your chakras uh, a lot of your healers you're not yet tapped into that so it could be that you do want to take up a course in reiki um hands-on healing massage things like that wow that's flown on the ground and we've got a male here, so it could be the masculine energy that's very strong coming in. There's a spirit guide around you. Uh, it could also be that you're dealing with a male that you know you want this healing with. Um, some of you could be male going into this as well, this healing field. And we've got a female, male and a female. Very interesting. So there's a counterpart going on here. Some of you might be working or going into business with your... Uh, partner, your spouse, uh, this could also be parents of yours who are healing from the other side, that can bring in healing for you. Um, it can also mean that, you know, you're feminine or masculine, if you're talking about a soulmate twin flame relationship here, is with you. They're tuning into you and they're sending you healing, even from the 5D. It's really quite beautiful. And then we've got energy exchange, definitely an en energy exchange right here. As I said, even if you're not connecting right now physically, definitely energetically, telepathically. See how he's got his hand on her heart chakra? That's gorgeous. So definitely connecting on the 5D. It's just so beautiful, especially if you're feeling really down lately. They're coming in around you. So let's have a look at a special guidance card using my Divine Colors and Numbers Oracle. What do we need to know this week, please? Oh, wow. Enlightenment. A situation that is... Oh, sorry, there's a number 11 right there. We've got ones and ones and... Yeah, it's interesting in the twos. A situation that is confusing for you is about to become very clear and you will know what to do. This form of enlightenment is an answered prayer from your angels as they have seen your journey of uncertainty. Like a light bulb turning on through a period of haziness, the light will shine through the cloudy fog and guide you along the right path. 
What becomes enlightening for you will give you strength and assurance. It may not necessarily be pleasant, but there will be a sense of relief as you will finally know what action to take. Very interesting. We're talking about the crown chakra, meditation, healing, um, sitting in nature. It's that enlightenment coming through. You are receiving clarity around something because the angels in heaven are looking after you. Your loved ones in heaven want you to know that they are happy and are guardian angels watching over you. Didn't we just say this stuff, guys? This can include your beautiful deceased pets. They want you to know that they are with you, giving you comfort in times of need. Pay attention to signs that come into your path, such as feathers, coins, repetitive number sequences, significant songs, or their name popping up somewhere, etc. These are signs that they are with you. Talk to them as they can hear you and know that they are always looking over you. That is so beautiful. Such a beautiful energy. And they're coming in to help you with that enlightenment as well. So sorry about my camera. Uh, they are coming in to help you with this enlightenment, which is just absolutely beautiful. Because, you know, some of you might be undergoing a major thing where, you, where you, know, you might have to make a major decision as well. So let's have a look at some angel numbers for you. Oops. Got a zero and a two. And a eight and a five. Zero, two, eight, five. So we're going to have a look at the number two to start with. And it says here, there are opportunities for connection and union at this time. Relationship growth is imminent. Amazing. Oops, sorry. And then we've got the number 28, which says here, your angels want to give you a high five as they recognize your commitment to being a light in the world. Well done for facing your fears. And we've got 285. Which says, your angels are encouraging you to trust in the wisdom that is within you. Trust in what you know. You do have the answers within you. So just taking time out to sit quietly. Um, not, not try and over, you know, try not to overanalyze anything too much right now. The answers will come. And you were not born to suffer. Move beyond expecting a negative outcome. So if things have been really bad and it's just one thing after the other that's going wrong for you, just know that things don't always have to be that way. It's just a phase. Um, this too shall pass as the saying goes, okay? So just know that um, the great things are unfolding behind the scenes. The clouds are going to break apart. Those dark clouds will break apart. The light will shine through. You're going to receive the answers. You're going to know what to do if there's something that you know requires a, a big decision. Um, and just knowing that, you know, just being aware of your feelings, you know, they're valid as well. Don't ever try and, you know, um, downplay what you feel because it is valid as well. So I think some of you might just be, you, you know, you might really worry about others and forget about yourself. So it's about really just looking within and saying, I have a right to feel this way. I, you know, some people can make you feel bad for feeling a certain way, but it's valid. Um, as long as you're not harming anybody else in the process, it's valid. And you're okay to, you know, to feel those things. Let's get one more of these. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this, so beautiful. Trust, trust. You know, this is what babies do. You know, children trust. So trying to come back into that energy of that innocence and trust, just, just put it to the universe, give it to the universe. You don't have to control everything. Some, well, you know, we can't anyway. Things are out of our control and it's up to the universe and God to guide us and, and help us to, it's not that we don't have the power to co-create, as I said before, but the outcome, we've got to let go of um, our expectation of how something is, ha is meant to happen. We can say what we want. We can co-create that with the, you know, the universe and manifest it to bring it in. But we, we can't always say how it's going to happen. Uh, things happen in miraculous ways sometimes we never saw, you know, we never knew would happen. And um, yes, it's just amazing. Miracles are coming in for a lot of us this week. And I just think that's so beautiful. I hope you guys have um, been able to get something from this message today. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings.